Alright, so today we're taking a look at the latest news regarding the RTX 4070 Ti because we are like around a couple of days away from the release of this GPU and there are some good news and there are some bad news if you want to call it that way but it's not that bad, you know, it's the usual stuff going on. So yeah, getting to the good news first, there has been a latest leak and or rumor, you know, alleged leaks of course, so you don't take that uh, for granted, just take it with a grain of salt, that the RTX 4070 Ti is going to be launching with an MSRP of $800. Now this is cool this is great that we are actually going to see a gpu for the same performance of an amd competitor but for cheaper and yeah we know that scalpers will not make it that easy to get this gpu for 800 dollars and the custom uh, uh gpus with the uh, third party coolers will be for more than that but you know it's kind of like a step towards the right direction because right now it's actually cheaper or at the time of release it the msrp is lower than 900 so yeah it's a very competitive price in my opinion and as i said this is something to give you a bit of an optimism now getting back to the league benchmarks we have seen an octa bench score which is a gpu intensive you know benchmark i really don't know what that is i haven't heard of it before but that's the gpu dependent task Anyway, we've seen the performance of it really close to the RTX 3090 Ti. Now, for granted that this GPU will be based on brand new architecture, so it means even though it has the same results in these, you know, synthetic benchmarks, doesn't necessarily mean the same gaming performance. So again, that's a very good plus in my opinion. Uh, a GPU that for the same performance of a 3090 Ti for $800, even though that's still overpriced, it's okay, you know, it's not 900 And I'm pretty sure by the time the GPU drops will be for like 1K or something like that, because as I told you, scalpers are taking over when it comes to the Nvidia GPUs. But this will only make uh, the GPU market better because, hey, a competitive MSRP may mean that the RX 7900 XT will be for cheaper and it will be more attainable to people. The 7900 XT right now is for $900, so maybe AMD will put a discount on that GPU once they find out or found out that Nvidia uh, are releasing the competitor of this one for cheaper. So yeah, that's it when it comes to the news, some pretty quick news, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. I really don't feel that good about both of these GPUs, but the fact that we are getting uh, some discounts and the GPU price is going down, even though in these uh, really weird times, you know, it's not the usual times when it comes to the world economy even, something pretty good. So yeah, see you in the next one, and uh, yeah, press on that like button, subscribe, and peace.